couple of early miscues with a take like that. Totally able to answer with his. And his most recent three has given St. Peter's a two point lead. Totally answers for Mongola. Had to pass us for a three. Totally a step back three from way downtown. Yeah. I think these two teams have played a pretty high level game knowing that they haven't had a whole bunch of time on the floor. And Ruddy's able to pick. Here's Totally. Pappas is all alone in the corner. And then that one's deep. But St. Peter's has led throughout. As Totally fires up a three. Big shot in the free throw line. Totally will fire one up and bring it down. Three of 12 on the floor. Mama four for 11. They turned it over five times. That's a beauty and it's tied for the offensive rebound. Totally. And, and that's it. Holmstrom pulls down the rebound. Mom with a 23-point lead and running. Totally for three. Go back to it for Mammoth. And the one thing that's been so impressive, and this goes back even to opening night, we totally get five on the shot clock. Totally in Fafana, a one-on-one -on -one matchup that totally gets the best. Yeah, there's no games, and you want guys to still work their way into minutes. Now, granted, for the end zone, for the touchdown. I thought Ed, that's uh, Dion. Uh, Around 30 minutes, he's played 21, so he could play the rest of the way and still be under 30. Down to four on the shot clock. Totally fade away, 26 footers, good! Won 14 in a row. A win here would be Sienna's 12th in a row. As Totally, nice one up for the Saints with five minutes to go. Totally one on one, crossing over. Oh, what a finish done in the final minute. And Coach Massarello talked with us about those expectations. And now we'll bring it into the front court. Going to waste no time getting involved. Totally to the basket. Uh, it's a great. Gabriel with the offensive rebound. Right back to Totally for three. Uh, and Nick. Yeah, Harazzi, Harazzi's been off to a tough start this season, but uh, certainly a guy that passes into that. The high arcing three is good for Donovan Totally. Just missed that previous shot. And they've been quiet in these two games. Martin's finding the 15 seconds for Mama to shoot. Totally gets himself into the paint. Uh -huh. Totally's going to try to answer with a three, and Donovan Totally has been no George Pappas for the Hawks. Totally, a deep three. That's I know he missed that one. He's got a nice mid range as well. He's totally getting inside, finishing him on. Totally for three. Second difference between the game and shot clock. Totally step back two. Mm. It's too bad. That's a good look again by Lewis. It's a great look. Totally to Ruddy. Yeah, right. Good screen by Ruddy. Totally finds him again. That duo loops it to Martin. Here's Totally an open three on the way, and that one is good. We want them to take. Chapu able to keep that pivot foot. Totally. A lot of arc on that three, and it's at 4.01. They had their green light on. Totally a high arcing three, and that one is good. I'll love to get some production from Jordan Cintron. Last three games, he's been quiet. Totally a three, and that one is good. Shandon Brown calling his own number. There's a pass. Totally a high arcing three. Good again. Probably not the shot that the Purple Eagles were looking for. Here's Totally. He'll pull up. Jumper on the way. Perfect. Good. Boy, the bench was up. They were ready. Back come the Hawks in the blink of an eye. Here's Totley along the baseline against Shannon Brown. He spins it home. What wow. a bucket. And was all they brought back, which is the, the second least amount of scoring returning in all of Division One. Hey, showcase the inside game and feathery touch from 15 for the big fella. You know, NBA lottery pick, and he's doing great things. Top 50 in the league in scoring right now. And only going to get... And Martin flips the lead. Well, yeah, that's what you, you have to pull that back. You have to be sure Caleb Green did not make a good decision.